As the Texas Department of Transportation would say, this time of the year the landscape is filled with a special kind of flower, political signs. And before being planted, unlike flowers, there are regulations to follow. Um, it, it varies from city to city depending on what their ordinance is, but uh, statewide, those polling places have some kind of cone or some kind of marker outside the polling place so that people know that they can't campaign within that 100-foot line. Under the Texas Transportation Code, it is illegal to put campaign signs on or within the right-of-way. And when people say, well, what, what's the right-of-way, usually it's not just the road, but the extension of the road, some to the sidewalks and a little bit of the of, of what's next to it. This includes posting signs not only on the land, but also trees, telephone poles, traffic signs, and other objects on the right of way. Recently, the city of Peñitas found out a location where candidates usually campaigned was no longer allowed. Well, basically what happens is our polling site is right along what's considered a state highway. So unfortunately, the sides of the roads are considered right-of-way, and it is against state law to have any campaign signs or structures in that right-of-way, according. The city issued out a notice to candidates per TxDOT's confirmation of the state right-of-way, informing them of the regulation. We have an ordinance that basically allows the city to assign spaces on city property for campaigning to take place. In order to enforce the regulation, the city added fencing to keep candidates from electioneering on the highway's right-of-way. The ordinance goes on to add that all signs must comply with Texas Transportation Code and may not obstruct traffic. First of all, it is state property, and second of all, uh, we want to make sure that it's safe. It In Hidalgo County, with complete valley coverage, Priscilla Estrada, CBS4 Valley, tonight.